at O, the center. Now see, basically it's like, um, see, it's like uh, this part. This part is what? This is the x-axis. So if you look at the figure that is I1, having current I1 with A as the radius, this is the xy plane, y-axis and x-axis. Now second figure is like this. See, second figure is like this. This is the y-axis and z-axis. So one ring is kept like this, other ring is kept like this. One ring like this and other one into it like this. Fine. Uh, so see, once we are calculating the net magnetic field, at the center of a circle, formula is same for all mu naught i by 2r. So for the first one, mu naught i1 by 2r, what is the radius of the circle 2a? Now what's unique, is, uh, unique here is the direction. So see, curling my fingers along the sense of current. So thumb is giving, pointing inward. See, current is moving clockwise. Look at the circle I1, A with radius A. This is moving like this, right? So thumb is pointing inwards. So that becomes, uh, inward becomes minus K cap. Secondly, uh, plus this now for this ring, this is mu naught, current is I2 divided by two, radius is B. Now look, We'll not do it like this or like this. Why? Because this is not an XY plane. This time this is in YZ plane. So it's like the circle is here. I don't have something circular right now. So I can depict it with the help of phone. You just imagine this to be a circle, circular loop I have, I'm having. This is there. So current, how is it flowing? Current is going into the page and see then from downwards it is coming out. Then current is going into the page, see? Then from downwards, it is coming up, going into the page. So current is going into the page, coming up. Can you see? This is the direction of current. Current is going inwards from the bottom, is it is coming out. Then it is going inwards, then it is coming out, yes? So if you rotate your, curl your right hand fingers like this, they'll be curled like this. Thumb is pointing towards negative x-axis. This is negative x-axis. So this becomes minus i. That's it. Then you can take whatever things are common, whatever, whichever things are left. And if values are given, you can substitute the values of radius. We are doing it generalized. You can get values also, current and radius and all like this. First, tell me this question is clear because this is the first question where two different planes were involved. Write it down. One more question based on this circle part only we'll do before we move on to the next derivation.
look class uh, calculate magnetic field at o so see now this time you are having a random arc which is subtending a proper angle of pi by 3 so this is not a circle this is not a semi circle so this is the last case which we discussed mu not i by 4 uh, pi r multiplied to the angle so see again we will not will never we have not done any formula which describes this shape so how will we solve it we'll break it into parts first part will be this part second part will be this then third will be this part then fourth will be this part fine so when we are talking about this arc when we are talking about the bigger arc so see when you are talking about the bigger arc net magnetic field let me write first what is the formula that we have studied mu not i current is i okay alpha alpha means the angle that is pi by 3 4 pi and what is the radius see this entire radius is 2r so into 2r so pi pi will be cancelled and direction also so curl your fingers along the sense of current this is pointing inwards so this becomes minus theta plus now come to the second figure this point o is lying on the axis of the second figure so directly it will be zero can you notice this is coming on the axis of it now third one third one is again an arc so mu not what is the current current is i angle angle is pi by 3 4 pi and what is the radius see this radius is just r so pi pi will be cancelled and the direction Uh, fingers are curled outward so this becomes k cap plus again this point is lying on the axis of it is zero so what is the formula left this is mu not i by 24 that will become 24 i minus k cap plus mu not i by 12 r Plus k cap. That's it. If you wish, you can take the LCM and take it as common also. So minus half plus one will be left. This much of Tesla. Fine. Write it down now. One derivation which was last uh, left uh, in this part we'll do. Then we'll start with Ampere circuit law.
see class now uh, this is a circular loop loop this is kept along the y z axis so this is the axis of the circular loop circle is there if there is the axis of the circle so at this axis let's say this is some point a at which we are calculating the magnetic field so at this point this is the axis let's say the separation of the axis to from the center to this point is x i have taken the current element c c this is dl i have told you this will be tangential and this is dl this is tangential so from dl to the uh, point a i have taken the separation so what do we call this we call this as position vector right uh, the radius vector position vector also over here you have the radius of this circle the radius of the circle is present so if this is the radius of the circle so the position vector this separation this will be see this is 90 degree so when you apply your pythagoras theorem this will become this is the radius of circle this should become under root r square plus x square similarly this will also become under root r square plus x square why because see this is a triangle that is formed are you understanding which is what is r what is x circular loop is there at its axis i am calculating a point that separation is x but r r is the position vector which we use in biot servert's law which is 1 by r square by, magnetic field is inversely proportional to r square this is that r separation of current element to the point of calculation remember the definition in the first class we did this is exactly that only now see coming to magnetic field so see due to this point there will be a magnetic field db due to this point there will be a magnetic field db now we need resolution we have to resolve all these vectors in order to solve everything along its and y axis uh see let's take see what is theta theta which is used in biot servert's law it's the angle that is formed between the current element and the uh radius vector right so here the radius is this so this exactly this separation and this is the current element so this becomes theta see this is theta this is 90 this is theta so this becomes 90 minus theta if this is 90 minus theta then see this will become theta right this is entire is 90 again this is 90 this becomes 90 minus theta and this will become theta this is theta this is theta because uh, again this will become 90 minus theta back to this fine now see when we have to perform resolution of vectors the angle the axis with which the angle is made this is always taken cos theta so because of this this will become db cos theta and the perpendicular to it perpendicular to it is this this becomes db sin theta we have resolved this resolve this now again this is the axis with which the angle is made so this becomes db cos theta correct and the perpendicular to it is this this becomes db sin theta are you getting this see db was this this is theta so this became db cos theta and this became db sin theta here in these two when we are talking about this db was like this with theta here so this became db cos theta this became db sin theta and that has been written together over here resolution of vectors you should be clear here if you are not able to understand let me know i'll repeat it but this should be clear because this is the basic part which only it gets used over here now see what you have to do you have the vectors along y axis and x axis can you see all the, we have just taken two current element from two diametrically opposite ends right if i choose two here from here these will be the diametrically opposite ends 
if I choose one from here, one from here, these two will be the diametrically opposite ends. So can you notice all the sine thetas are actually opposite to each other? So all the sine thetas will be cancelled and all the cos thetas will be pointing in the same direction. So they will be added. Consider a small element dl magnetic field at A due to dl. See, we have for this question, we have to solve it along y-axis. B y along y axis, d b sine theta minus d b sine theta. Even if you integrate it for all of these, these will be cancelled. Nothing is there along y axis because all the diametrically opposite will be resolved and all the sine thetas will be in opposite direction. But when we are talking about cos theta, we do have a value along x axis. So the net magnetic field, since it is zero because of y, it will be, we'll integrate it along dx. So what is the value of bx? This is db cos theta. Now class, what is db? What is magnetic field? See, db is mu naught i dl sine theta divided by 4 pi r square. And here the angle is between the, uh, the dl and radius. That was 90 degree. So this becomes 90 degree mu naught i dl sine 90 degree divided by 4 pi r square. That's it. So db is what? db is mu naught i dl by 4 pi r square. And what is cos theta? Okay, fine. db we have calculated. What is cos theta? If you look at this triangle, cos theta is capital R by this small r, right? Base by hypotenuse. So capital R by small r. In the triangle, cos theta is actually capital R by small r. So we have db, we have cos theta. Let's put the value. So B net will become integral db is mu naught i dl by 4 pi r square and uh, cos theta is r by small r. So this becomes mu naught i uh, leave dl. This becomes mu naught i r divided by 4 pi r cube integration of dl is left now ultimately when we'll be adding the all the small element dl it is the same for a circle right it's ultimately it's a circle only in reality it's a circle so integration of dl will still here be for a circle mu naught i by 4 pi r cube into 2 pi r fine so see into 2 pi r is there, pi pi will be cancelled. Uh, 2 with this 4, that becomes 2. So we have also, one more thing, r is equal to under root r square plus x square. Put it here also. So what is the formula? See, uh, this is mu naught i r into r, r square divided by 2 r small r cube small r cube. So this is r. This is what? This is r square plus x square to the power half. To the power half. And we want, we want to cube this entire term. So you will cube this. This is your r. r square plus x square to the power half. You are going to cube this. So this becomes r square plus x square to the power 3 by 2 directly. Understood. See, r square plus x square to the power half was your small r under root r square plus x square. So when you are cubing this, that becomes r square plus x square to the power 3 by 2. If n number of turns are there, so for n number of turns, formula becomes mu naught 
n into i r square divided by 2 r square plus x square to the power 3 by 2. Class, this derivation comes for 5 marks. Be prepared with it. This is very, very important derivation because this is one derivation which involves all your concept. Concept of vectors, concept of resolution of vectors, then direction, magnetic field, biot servert's law, circular wire and everything. Right? Copy it down. One question we also practiced based on this. Any doubts? Please let me know while writing. Mark this as important.
see now these two this is the axis for this circle this is the axis for this circle so um the formula that we will be using will be mu naught uh, n n number of turns mu naught n i r square by 2 uh, under root r square plus x square to the power q fine now see here also we will be using the net magnetic field this will be b1 plus b2 now uh, when we are talking about b1 b1 is this so mu naught i r what is the radius radius is b so b square divided by 2 r square so that is b square plus axis x x square this becomes plus x square to the power 3 by 2 now direction see again current is moving like this in yz plane right so current is moving like this curl your fingers like this see this is the direction current is moving into the page coming from beneath so thumb is pointing here this is minus i cap plus for the second loop this is mu naught Current is I, radius is A square divided by 2, A square plus X square to the power 3 by 2. Direction, see current is moving like this in the XZ plane. This is in the XZ plane like this. So you have to curl your fingers like this. So this becomes like this. So this is pointing upwards, which is J cap. First, tell me, direction is clear. Are you people satisfied with minus I cap and J cap? Clear? Amna, Deborah, Fadil, Rajita, Sidra? Yes, ma'am. Others? Only Fadil has understood? What about yes, others? Sidra, clear? Amna, Deborah, Rajita? The directions yes. are clear? Yes, ma'am. Fine. Write it down. Then we will start with Ampere Circuital Law.
three class now understand the statement of ampere circuital law what is meant by ampere circuital law so we have already done gauss law if you remember in the first lesson of electrostatics we have already done gauss theorem what was gauss theorem can anyone repeat what was gauss theorem we had a formula for gauss theorem b dot d uh, e Man. dot yes is equal to what e dot ma'am q by epsilon naught yes it's 1 over epsilon naught times the q and q. this was right. yes so only fadil knows gauss theorem rest of you have forgotten it now see if we take a small dl from a wire which is having current i flowing and magnetic field is b so line integral of magnetic field what is meant by line integral of magnetic field means if you integrate the magnetic field over the entire distance this is known as line integral of magnetic field this is the way it is 1 by epsilon not times this is mu not times what here was charge enclosed here is current n closed this is what is meant by ampere circuit law b dot dl is line integral of magnetic field so mu not i enclosed so according to ampere circuit law the line integral of magnetic field along a closed loop is mu not times the total current i enclosed by the loop and one more thing if there are number of c amperian loops like uh, if we say b dot dl if i am asking you what it is so b dot dl integral is equal to the current that are only enclosed so i4 will not be included you will only include i1 i2 and i3 these are in the same direction so let us take them as a positive i1 plus i2 since this is inwards let us take this as negative because sign convention this is how you have to take you will not include i4 because not this is not within the enclosed loop you only have to consider i enclosed this is very important when we are talking about current i enclosed only will come current that is within the wire only no other current all right so this is important and there are certain conditions when you choose the amperian loop write it down then i'll discuss the amperian loops condition properties of amperian loop the way we had gaussian surface gaussian loop Your amperian loop will be there.
p class now the characteristics of amperian loop firstly it should be closed this is the first and foremost condition for choosing an amperian loop it should be closed this you have to choose by yourself if suppose a wire is given so that so you will have to choose it by yourself all right then uh, see magnetic field should either be tangential or perpendicular to it magnetic field should either be tangential or perpendicular to it then uh, magnetic field should be uniform throughout the loop why reason is that see when you are integrating b dot dl if magnetic field is constant it will come out of the integral sign and integral of dl will be left if b is also non uniform dl is already non uniform the integration will become very complex that's why magnetic field should be uniform throughout this you should keep in mind while uh, performing all the questions of it now see i'll show you how to choose amperian loop and how to go about the questions let us take the example and solve some steps see step 1 choose an amperian loop so suppose a wire i have taken current i is flowing across the wire so the amperian loop that has been chosen is a circle whose radius is r this is the first step second step you have to apply the ampere circuit law so integral of v dot dl is equal to mu not times uh, mu not times the current enclosed right what is b dot dl b dot dl is b dl cos theta is equal to mu not i what is i enclosed over here i enclosed is i and see uh, cos theta when you talk about this is 90 degree you can see in the figure also dl and r they'll always be 90 degree whenever we have a circle and a straight wire coming to integration of dl integral of dl will be will be 2 pi r integral of dl so put all the things that becomes b into integral of dl is 2 pi r is equal to mu not i enclosed over there i enclosed is equal to i what is the value of magnetic field coming magnetic field is mu not i by 2 pi r like this we use the form clear uh, let us practice this question also that will become clearer write down this ampere loop then we will see that question
three class a long cylindrical wire of radius a has current i flowing you have to calculate magnetic field inside the region r is less than a so see consider an amperian loop of radius r so we'll take an amperian loop inside this radius is r why have we taken inside because because it is mentioned in the question now see when we are talking about this i enclosed will be only the current that is flowing through the amperian loop only this part but in the question i is flowing across the entire wire i is flowing in, in, across this entire wire so we have to first find out that in this amperian loop that we have chosen how much current is flowing so how will we find out see current when we are talking about the entire circumference entire cross section so current through pi r square is i right uh, not uh, r square pi a square the radius is a so current through pi a square is i means entire wire is having the current i so current through unit area will be per unit i by pi a square so if you know the current flowing through unit area can't you calculate the current flowing through pi r square see this is pi r square so current through pi r square will be i by pi a square into pi r square so pi pi gets cancelled what is current enclosed this time this is i r square divided by a square did you understand you are not going to take i this time because this is within this region only current i is total we just require the current from here so that's why using unitary method we have calculated i enclosed once you have i enclosed now solving this question is not difficult this is exactly the same you not i enclosed so this becomes b integral of dl is equal to mu not i enclosed this becomes b into 2 pi r why 2 pi r because radius of amperian loop is r mu not what is i i is i r square by a square this r this square will be cancelled what is the ultimate formula that you are getting b is equal to mu not i r by 2 pi a <coughs> this is the formula that we will be getting fine if it is outside outside is this this is what is outside had the wire the same wire and we have to take the point outside nothing will occur current enclosed will be i i enclosed will be i this will be the same this difference will not be there write it down
three class among the application of ampere circuit law we have two devices solenoid and toroid so uh, briefly i'll tell you today next of the rest of the details we will do it in the next class though so solenoid is basically turnings of copper wire insulated copper wire if turnings of copper wire in this spiral form helical form this is known as a solenoid and if you join the two ends of a solenoid in the form of circle that is that device is basically called as the toroid fine this is solenoid this spring one and toroid you have which is the circular part write this down these are the applications of ampere circuit law two devices come solenoid and toroid If you people have completed, please appear uh, for your after class assessment uh, because solenoid will not, we will not be able to cover it today. It will take half an hour. So next class, let's meet, revise and come, ray optics and both. All right.